Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice system of equations x to the power 4 plus y to the power 4 is equal to 97 and x minus y is equal to 1. Our job is to find all possible values of x plus y. So, let us start by squaring both sides of this equation. We have the equation x minus y is equal to 1 and we take square of both sides. This x minus y whole squared will become x squared plus y squared minus 2xy is equal to 1 squared is 1. So, we move this negative 2xy to the right hand side. Then this will become x squared plus y squared is equal to 1 plus 2xy. And from here, we take square of uh, both sides again. So, this uh, x squared plus the y squared whole squared will become x to the power 4 plus uh, y to the power 4 plus 2x squared y squared is equal to this uh, 1 plus 2xy uh, whole squared will become 1 plus 4 x squared y squared plus 4 x y. Now, we subtract 2 x squared y squared from both sides. So, this will be cancelled out and uh, at left hand side we are left with uh, x to the power 4 plus uh, y to the power 4 is equal to 1 4 x squared y squared minus uh, 2 x squared y squared will become plus 2 times x squared y squared plus this 4 x y. Now, we replace this uh, x to the power 4 plus uh, y to the power 4 with this value of x to the power 4 plus y to the power 4, 97. So, this will become 97 is equal to 1 plus 2 x squared y squared plus 4 x y. And we subtract 1 from both sides. So, this 97 minus 1 will become 96 is equal to this uh, positive 1 will be cancelled out with this negative 1. We are left with this uh, 2x squared y squared plus uh, 4xy. Now, we move this uh, 96 to the right hand side. Then this will become 2x squared y squared plus uh, 4 times xy minus 96 is equal to 0. Now, we divide both sides of this equation by 2. So, this will become x squared y squared plus 2xy minus 48 is equal to 0. Now, this x squared y squared can be written as xy whole squared plus this 2xy minus 48 is equal to 0. Now, this is a quadratic equation in terms of xy and is factorable. So, we solve it by factorization. This xy whole squared remains same xy whole squared. We split this 2xy as a negative 6 x y plus 8 x y minus this 48 is equal to 0. From these two terms, we can factor out x y in bracket left x y minus 6 and from these two terms, we can factor out plus 8 in bracket left x y minus 6 is equal to 0. 
Now, as you can see, this expression x y minus six is common. So we factor out this uh, x y minus six, and uh, in bracket left uh, this x y and this plus eight. In bracket left uh, x y plus eight is equal to zero. From here, either this expression x y minus six is equal to zero. Or this expression, x times y plus eight is equal to zero. From this equation, we get the value of x y is equal to six, and from this equation, we get the value of x y is equal to negative eight. Now we recall the equation. We recall this equation: x minus y is equal to one. We recall that x minus y is equal to one, and we have to find the value of x plus y. So we use this algebraic identity: a plus b whole squared is equal to a minus b whole squared. Plus four a b. So by using this algebraic identity, we can write that x plus y whole squared is equal to x minus y whole squared plus four x y. Now we have two cases: x y is equal to six and x y is equal to negative eight. First, in this equation, we replace this x minus y with this value one, and we replace this x y with this value six. So this equation will become x plus y whole squared is equal to x minus y is one squared plus four times value of x y is this six. Next, x plus y whole squared is equal to one squared is one plus four times six twenty four. Next, x plus y whole squared is equal to one plus twenty four will become twenty five, and to remove this square, we take a square root of both sides. So this square will be cancelled out with this square root, and at left hand side we are left with x plus y is equal to square root of 25 is plus minus 5. It means from here we get two values of x plus y. X plus y is equal to 5, and x plus y is equal to negative 5. Now. We solve this case when x y is equal to negative eight. So in this equation, we replace this x minus y with one. We replace this x y with this negative eight. So this equation will become x plus y whole squared is equal to one squared plus four times negative eight. Next. X plus y whole squared is equal to one squared is one, and four times negative eight, negative thirty-two. Next, x plus y whole squared is equal to one minus thirty-two will become negative thirty-one, and we take a square root of both sides. So this square will be cancelled with this square root, and we're left with x plus y is equal to plus or minus. This square root of negative thirty-one can be written as square root of thirty-one times square root of negative one, and this will become x plus y is equal to plus or minus root thirty-one. 
this square root of negative 1 will become i. So, from here we get other two solutions x plus y is equal to root 31 i and uh, x plus y is equal to negative root 31 i. So, we have uh, four solutions of uh, this equation.